Uh, just yesterday, Royal Caribbean joined the Norwegian Cruise Line in dropping vaccination requirements for their passengers. Back in 2020, the cruise industry was shut down due to COVID, but after two and a half years in the pandemic, many are heading back to their pre-pandemic normal. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Uh, Karis, the Carnival Ecstasy cruise ship is taking off from our port in just a couple hours. Yes, and people I spoke with that were boarding the ship tell me they're not worried about COVID restrictions. Yes. Are you guys nervous about COVID stuff at all? Are you feeling no, good? not at all. I have my mask just in case. I have all my equipment just in case. Are you guys excited? Very. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so I know a lot of cruise ships, not this one, but a lot of them are uh, getting rid of their COVID guidelines. Do you guys feel safe? Well, I'm double vaccine, double vaccinated. We all are, so pretty safe as safe as can be. While cruise lines like Norwegian and Royal Caribbean have dropped their vaccination policies, the Carnival Cruise Line still requires full vaccination for passengers, with exception of children and medical excuses. Andrea Miller with See It All Travel says while the drop in requirements has caused some worry for some of her clients, business is booming. Lots of people that have not been able to cruise because they have not received the vaccination are excited and they're booking cruises. Certain destinations like the Bahamas require vaccination from visitors. Dr. Rendy Murphy with the Mobile County Health Department says in an enclosed space like a cruise ship, transmission is very possible. You're in that situation where you have to think about yourself, your vaccination status, your underlying health conditions, your risk for severe illness should you catch COVID. Cruise ships have updated their cleaning policies and procedures throughout the pandemic. I ran into Mississippi and Haley Shepard as she was getting off her five day carnival cruise. She tells me there were about 2000 people on the ship with her and they had to submit COVID tests before boarding. I felt really safe because like I said, they had the masks already ready for it and all. And they did have stickers and all like normal where it would be like social distancing and stuff. We'll make sure to keep you updated if any additional cruise lines change their COVID guidelines.